So I'm about to head out for my first supply run. Super excited about that. I'm gonna get uh, the wood for the subfloor as well as the two by threes and two by four that I need. Uh, get the self-tapping screws and some other things. Um, I'm also gonna get some power tools that I need that I'm missing. Um, I need to get a table saw and I have a jigsaw, but it's not here. So I'm gonna get another better, stronger jigsaw. Love power tools, excited about that. Um, I'm also going to, uh, before I could put down the subfloor, I have to cut the hole into the cab. Um, and I may start removing the roll-up door today as well. So construction starts, not now, soon though. It starts soon. Right now, going to Home Depot, start. <laughs> for my insulation, my two by threes. Uh, these guys are an inch and a half. Those guys are an inch and a half, so it works out perfectly. Uh, this run was a little more labor intensive than I expected. Um, I went in with a plan for all the materials I wanted to get and I was able to find everything, but Home Depot didn't carry the type of subfloor that I wanted. Uh, so then that went into a whole mental debate of what to get. So I say this to say that it just reminded me or told me to remember, yeah, reminded me that in the process of this build, everything won't go as planned, which is totally fine. So yeah, so I got this stuff today. Um, I'm gonna cut that guy. Can I point at it? Okay, I can't do it. But that guy back there, that square thing back there, I'm gonna cut the opening today. And I'm also going to start dismantling the roll-up door today as well. Um, very excited. First, I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat because I'm starving. to work. My agenda today is pretty simple. I am going to cut my way through this. So I pre-measured and drew these lines. So from here to here, likewise from here to here, we have about a 30 inch opening for the doorway that's going to fit in the space. So I'm just going to check, make sure that this line is straight. Um, and then I'm going to go in Draw my holes with this guy and then follow it up with this guy. Let's get it going. saw because it's pretty powerful um, it can cut through plastic wood OSB uh, metal all of the above and I'm gonna need to cut through all of those types of materials throughout the duration of the build so let's give her a go Thank you. 
And just like that, I have my first hole in the truck. Uh, cutting an entrance from the box into the cabin was super important to me. In fact, it's the reason why I picked this kind of truck. I looked at a couple of different models and I realized I wanted to get a truck where the box was connected to the cab so that I could have that entryway as a safety feature. Wanting to be able to get from inside of my house into the cab of the truck just in case I'm ever in a circumstance where I have to leave where I am very quickly. Um, having to come out of an entrance and then get into the actual truck just didn't seem like the safest thing in the world and then at one point I became very paranoid about the possibility of someone stealing the truck while I'm inside of it and me not being able to do almost anything about that so yeah it was really important for me to be able to have that entryway from the cab into what will soon be my house yeah the whole process of cutting the entrance took about I'll say about two and a half, three hours. There was a lot of trial and error in there trying to figure out the best possible way to make that hole happen. Um, I definitely did a couple of things that I think I could have done better, uh, but we live and we learn, right? Um, yeah, so that's it. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Even if you didn't like the video, subscribe because there's going to be a lot of content coming your way and I'm only going to improve the more videos that I make. Uh, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more outside of the realm of YouTube, follow me on Instagram. Summer Seeking is the name. <laughs> and that's it.